Hey, aloha guys, Eric West here, hawaiirealestate.org. And the messages come in right away, I love it, just ding. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome back. I'm all about teaching you everything there is to know about this beautiful place called Hawaii. And it's real estate, but you can't find in the listing. And today we're gonna to talk about the top 10 things that you should know, not just to survive, but to thrive in Hawaii. I know a lot of you guys are thinking about moving here, have moved here, or about to move here. So I think these tips are gonna be very, very, very important so take some notes if you like this is actually a little bit of a preview to a, an edited video that I'm making so I've actually thought about some of these things and it's in process but I thought this live would be a good preview of that video to come about seven years ago six years ago I made a video on accident called the top 10 things nobody will tell you about Hawaii and the thing blew up right literally went viral almost a million views Ah, there it is. And uh, that's kind of how I got introduced to YouTube. YouTube does that, right? If you make a video that they think is cool, or the algorithm thinks it's cool, it just blasts it out there and it goes, hey man, make some more of those. Of course, I never had a video take off like that again, but that's okay, maybe someday. And the next one I made was like, what well, nobody will tell you about Maui. And that was more like all the things you should do when you come here. Another top 10 video. So I'm making another top 10 video called the top 10 things you need to know, not just to survive, but to thrive in Hawaii. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit. The sun's just going down. I've been a little bit absent recently. I realize that, I'm aware. I've got two reasons. The first reason, I've been busy. I've been showing houses, writing contracts, buyers on island, working man kind of thing, you know. But number two is I've had some weird, strange back pain that has just been like haunting me for like too long, right? So I've been on this quest. I haven't been sick, no COVID, none of that. Just this crazy, achy, irritating what the heck ache in the back like not just anywhere just like the whole like thoracic region so anyway I have a solution though I figured it out praise the Lord it took me a while don't ask me where that how I figured this out but for anyone that's watching this maybe this message is for you and maybe we all go through certain things together so we teach each other how we got through it and we benefit and learn and knowledge and growth and aloha and who knows what it's all about I have no clue but I will tell you, this is the solution that I found. And it absolutely is a game changer, man. I'm telling you, man. Ah. So if you're, if you're struggling or if you just are a health fanatic like I am, I'm a, literally a health fanatic. I am like, I should not feel any pain because I don't do anything I shouldn't do. Honestly, I don't. So this was kind of tripping me out. So what I discovered, and it's like a long story how I got there. I'll give you the shortcut cliff notes version of it. But my son, about three week, three or four, six weeks ago, discovered this guy on, online called the Liver King, right? This Liver King, this guy eats liver and body parts, and I was like, okay, whatever, that's weird. But, um, you know, just kind of lodged in my brain somewhere. And the guy also has a supplement company called Ancestral Supplements. And they literally are a different you know, it sounds crazy, but there's this whole concept of eating from nose to tail on an animal. And so you eat certain body parts of like organ meat and stuff like that, which I thought was crazy, right? But I had actually been taking some supplements before called, um, help me out here, standard process, which is what all the big chiropractors all over the world recommend to their patients, standard process. And if you read standard process, what's in it? A bunch of body parts from bovine, you know, cows and sheep and pigs. And my sister-in-law, she solved her Hashimoto's by eating, we gave her a hard time about it, but she ate like the, the whatever gland from a pig and it made her better. So anyway, long story short, as I started reading these reviews on Amazon, and I suggest you do the same, about ancestral supplements. There's thousands and thousands of reviews and these people are tripping out. Like, I had this problem, I had that problem, and so I decided, I'm going to start trying some of these supplements. So I started taking the bone and marrow, the heart, and the concept here is whatever body part you're having a problem with, you eat that particular organ from a cow, sorry vegans, um, <laughs> and it's going to fix it and it makes sense, right? If you're bodybuilding and you want to build muscle, ah, what do you eat? You eat protein. What is protein? It's muscle and your body eats it and it repairs the muscle and grows more muscle. So if you're having a problem with your liver or your kidneys, wouldn't it make sense to eat some liver and kidneys? and it'll fix it. And I'm telling you, whatever was wrong with me, I don't know what it was. I went to the doctor, blood test, but doctors, they know nothing. They really don't. But whatever it was, whatever was in there, within 24 hours, I'm telling you, healed. I mean, gone, back pain, gone. So anyway, that has nothing to do with Hawaii and, and the top 10 things, but 
that's a long story short for how I got to being back to normal. Now, I always kept working. I didn't stop. I was just in writhing pain. So there's your, there's your Maui fix, a little bit, sort of. And of course, as always, I've got my little one wheel here, my little buddy. Yes, ah, there he is, ready to go for a cruise. And we're going to do it. And we're just going to talk about the 10 things that you will need to survive and thrive in the beautiful state of Hawaii. Should you come to visit, right? These apply to if you visit, I think. But also, if you're going to come here and live, we are going to talk about those things and what I believe will serve you. And by the way, where am I at right now, guys? I'm in the beautiful Kanapali Golf Estates. This is a fantastic neighborhood right here above Kanapali. We're staying right at the Sheraton Black Rock right there. Hang on a second. There it is. I know you can't really see it, but promise, I promise you. That's where the treasure Aloha box is. If you haven't watched those videos and you're here on Maui, go check out the Aloha box. There's good stuff in there. The coolest gift exchange on planet Earth. Go check it out. Last time it was it's so funny. We have such we have such Aloha infused people. They're just leaving gifts and not taking anything. It's like that's it, man. You guys get it. But someone take some of the gifts. Let's go. You must uh, you know, it's better to give than it is to receive. We all know that. But sometimes receiving is good too, so don't forget about the receiving part. So go take some of those gifts, come bring your own. It's a minimum $100. Leave your, a gift card to your favorite activity here on Maui and write in the book, take a, a Polaroid selfie of yourself, write a little something in the book, and it's right behind Black Rock. There's a video on it that shows exactly how to get there. So anyway, back to the one wheel and back to talking about Hawaii and thriving. There's my buddy. I just tried to take off on him. He didn't work. He's a little rusty, you know. He, maybe he had some back pain too. I'm gonna give him some ancestral supplements. Okay, so the very first thing, we're going to jump right into the content here because I think it's important to know. This is good stuff. You'll love it. Okay, so the very first thing, and by the way, I believe these tips are going to be universal. And of course, hit me in the comments if you live here and you want to add to that because this is a format that you can maybe share, which you has, has been successful for you living here. And, um, and also anything that you have to say about the, the, the 10 tenets, I'm going to call it, of successful living here in Hawaii. The first tenant is being humble. Now I know that's that's just a universal principle, but it's especially important in Hawaii because in my you know 11 years of living here, I've been told it by many people, but the local people that live here, you know, you can call them the Hawaiians, the, the Filipinos, the locals. I'm not a local, don't worry. I just I just I'm just visiting for a few years. But the locals that live here, to me that's the number one thing that their radar is up for is are you a humble person? If you come across as a humble person or are you kind of snooty and demanding, that, that attitude's got to stay back wherever you came from. You, you must be uh, giving off an air of humbleness and here comes the trade wind, so sorry about that. So that's number one, absolutely critical. And part of that is knowing that you're a guest here, no matter how long you live here. If you didn't, if you weren't born and raised here in Hawaii, and you move here, you will never be born and raised here. You will always be a guest and a visitor here. So keep that mentality in the back of your mind, and it will serve you very, very well. And be humble, and realize that you're in a, in kind of a borrowed space. I think is the best way to put that. So, hit me in the comments with anything that you have to add or delete from that, if you like. And then the second one that comes after that, obviously. You know, a lot of people would argue could be the first one, which is, of course, living in a state of aloha. And what do I mean by that? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of having to get off this curb right here because they're we shut down the uh, they shut down the sidewalk here on the golf course, and I gotta and then the the one wheel shut off too. All right, so let's talk about number two. Number two is living in a state of aloha because, of course, that's what makes the state famous on a spiritual level is aloha so it's important before you come here or live here that you kind of get familiar with that concept and the very first thing to become familiar with is when someone says aloha to you ah, you gotta say aloha back that's how they know that you've done your homework right if you just if someone says that to you and you just are like ignoring it then they know that you haven't done your homework and you don't know the first rule of aloha which is if someone says it to you you must return it with a aloha See, now that you know that, it's going to help you. Because the first time someone says it to you, and you respond with aloha, they're going to be like, okay, all right, we're on the same page. Aloha, aloha. So it's always got to be returned. That's very helpful. I don't know where I learned it or who taught it. But a lot of these things, by the way, were just taught to me by other people that were cool and just taught me something. They just said, hey, by the way, a little tip. So I'm going to try to give you those tips here. Now, the, the, the other, this is not one of the, the, the top tenants but one of them is if someone says how you doing right how you doing how's it 
the, the standard response in Hawaii is good, 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 good. You say good twice. Because we're not just good when we live in Hawaii. We're like double good. It's like mahi. It's not just a, a it's, a, it's such a good fish. They named it twice, mahi, mahi. So if you're, someone says, hey, how's it? Hey, good, good. You're, you're good double. You're double good if you're in Hawaii. But that is a common way to respond to that question. It's two goods in a row. And also if you're walking down the street and you see somebody and they look at you, you kind of acknowledge them with a little up with the eyes and, and kind of up with the eyebrows. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it next time you, you, you're here and you just, it's a, a little bit of an acknowledgement and that's how they acknowledge it, each other. Thank you, Fred Haywood, for teaching me that. Long time realtor and world famous windsurfer, but I had just moved here and I was on a showing with him and he goes, hey, let me give you a tip. You look like you're F-O-B. That's fresh off the boat. <laughs> just kidding, he didn't say that, but I probably look like I was fresh off the boat. Probably still look like I'm fresh off the boat, but that's all right. Um, so anyway, Aloha. Number three is Pono. Live Pono. Pono is, a, again, another sort of Hawaiian concept that's very important to your success in thriving and surviving in Hawaii, but that just means always do the right thing. No matter what it is, follow your conscience and do the right thing. You know what it is. I know what it is. We need to do that every single time. And that, to me, is part of what creates the culture in Hawaii is that people here live. You'll see the bumper stickers, you know, Pono live do the right thing live in a right way do the right thing towards others towards yourself and that's what creates a special space in hawaii that you might not find anywhere else in the world because that vibration is being sent out there not just on bumper stickers but it's ingrained into the hearts and minds of the people that live here live pono so we got be humble live aloha and live pono so those are the first three tenets of successful living in hawaii for thriving and surviving and those to me are sort of like spiritual ethical sort of concepts that are really important the next ones are going to be a little more down to earth or practical and um, also tips for survival and thriving so the next one number four is begin and end each day at the ocean right you live if you live here you moved here for that but you'd be surprised how many people live here and then don't get to it or take advantage of it and if you start in the morning with the sunrise your circadian rhythm is getting started correctly and you're watching the sun come up you're at the ocean if you can't go in it be near it but preferably get in it get on it get the salt water behind the ear and just start the day outside at the ocean and the same thing at night one of the reasons i do the maui fixes sometimes if i can when i'm working not working I turn the camera for you guys and I'm kind of working but not really um, is to be there when the Sun goes down right going for a walk 10,000 steps a day on the beach with your to toes in the sand right getting grounded to Mother Earth that's another tip but beginning and ending your day at the ocean and making the ocean a part of your life I could go on and on and out for hours on that particular subject but whether it's scuba diving snorkeling um, paddling you know at a canoe club there's all kinds of ways that you can make the ocean a part of your daily life, and that's really important. It's like you imagine you moved to Aspen or Telluride or Vail, and you had a ski house on the slopes, and you never went skiing. You never were like, ah, you know, that's just, that's for those people. So I know a lot of you guys are not gonna, you think I'm crazy, but you'd be surprised. A lot of people move here, and they don't make it a part of their daily habit. So make the ocean a part of your life. The next one was 10,000 steps a day, and that's just a universal principle that I'd like to encourage, besides taking your ancestral vitamins now, because those things will change your life, I promise you, start with the um, bone marrow and collagen. I know it's, I'd have never taken it in a million years and, until I saw people talking about how much it changed their energy level and how they felt. Try it, trust me. But then make a commitment to go 10,000 steps every single day and start your day and end your day with that walk and, and you know, track it somehow with your pedometer. You know, we all talk about getting in the gym and lifting weights and doing all this stuff. Well, trust me, man, just walking 10,000 steps a day will kick your butt. I'm not kidding you. It will. And I'm talking about keeping a little pace on it, you know, not just like slowly, whatever, but, you know, put some effort into it. Okay, that was the next one. What's the next one? Hang on, Eric. <laughs> I made the video, but I get so caught up in the content, I just completely space what the next one is. Where are we at? Number five, number six? Man, I just I was imagining myself walking on the beach and taking 10,000 steps. Oh yeah, eat local, okay? Eat local. Just like they say, if you wanna beat your, whoa, big bumps. If you wanna beat your uh, allergies, right? Eat local honey. Well, when you live here, eat local food, local fruit, local vegetables, okay? Very, very important. And eat from the ocean. 
and I would encourage all of you that are not on a protein diet, get a lot of protein in your system. Your body needs that rebuilding block stuff. I promise you, I've really upped my protein intake and I'm telling you, it's crazy how great I feel. But eat from the ocean, ahi, mahi, ono, oh yes ah. And, uh, and then, um, you know, go to the farmer's markets uh, on Saturday up in uh, Kula and eat that organic grown in the dark, rich volcanic soil of Kula. Eat those locally grown vegetables, eat that uh, locally sourced honey, and also a mango, a papaya, a pineapple. You know what I'm saying? Get some fruit, get some good fructose in your system. No more sugar. You know, forget sugar. Fructose, in my opinion, is where it's at. You gotta have fructose. You gotta get sugar and energy from the way that God intended you to get it. Not in a box, not some refined whatever. Nothing that's refined. No refined flour, no refined anything. Matter of fact, I'd encourage you not to eat anything that is any kind of carbohydrate unless it's a fruit. And minimum, might not a lot. Earn your earn your carbs. You do your 10,000 steps, then we can talk some carbs. Before that, mm, mm Americans are overfed. We eat too much and don't do enough activity. So when you come to Hawaii, you're going to enter in an elite group of people that live the longest of anyone else in the United States. That's right, right here on this state. And part of it is because of, I believe, some of these tenets that people in, embody in their lifestyle here. Okay. I forget where I'm at. Because it's getting dark, and i got to watch where I'm going. And uh, I'm going to forget one, I know it. But I'm really feeling good about what I've shared with you so far. So if you agree, hit me in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to tell me if you what you would add or subtract to this list. That's very important. One of the beautiful things I love about the most Aloha-infused audience on planet Earth is that we have got what's called audience um, participation, and everyone's thinking and learning and sharing and and uh, you know in the in the in the vibe. I got to turn here because a car is coming. So be sure to do that. Okay, we talked about. Oh yeah. Okay, now now hang on. Water. Water's on the list. I know. Top ten. A lot of you guys are moving here. You're not from the tropics, right? You don't live at the same... You know, we're in line with the equator, man. It's hot here. The sun is intense, bro. It is... It'll burn you. But if you live here for a while, you won't get burned anymore. But you've got to drink water. No matter where you live, you got to drink lots of water. But at least two to three liters a day and with a pinch of sodium that will help you absorb the water. It's just like if you go to the hospital, the first thing they're going to do is hook you up to some IVs. And the IVs have what? Saline in them. Do they hook you up to fresh water? No, they don't, because that would kill you. If they pump fresh water in your veins, you would die. But if it has a little bit of salt in it, then it can pass through the cell membrane. So anyway, that's a little tip, I believe. Hang on a second. Got to make sure I don't get run over by these people. Oh, boy. Okay, back on the sidewalk. Yes, sir. Okay, now I'm at Whaler's Village, by the way, in case you're curious. Okay, where was I at? Water. I know there's other stuff. I don't have, like, a list of numbers. It's just all coming from... I have no idea. But the, the next one is go shopping at Whaler's Village as often as possible. No, just kidding. <laughs> that's my wife, actually. That's her number one tenant for success on Maui. Go shopping. But actually, she's buying cool stuff for our clients for closing gifts. So that's her one of her jobs. So anyway, the final one, I, I know I'm probably missing one, but the final one that I have on my list, I made the video already. I'm just editing it. The final one is this. Participate in the community. So no matter what, man, the wind. Uh, no matter what, give back to the community and get involved in the community, which means what? Which means volunteering, but also going and playing pickleball, getting involved in a paddling club, giving back to children, orphans, widows, soup kitchen, whatever. Whatever you're feeling that you want to do, go do that. Get involved because all of the health benefits don't really matter if you don't have that social glue that the body needs. It releases endorphins. It releases something into your system. When you go do that, the community is better for it. You're better for it. And after COVID, people I think are still a little cubbied up and like scared. Get out there and be a part of the community in whatever way you want to do that. But it's very, very important. And it's not just volunteering, but it's also being social, making connections, making new friends, going out to dinner, saying yes instead of no. One of the things my mom always joked about, she was from Germany. And in Germany, when people say, hey, you know, I'll see you next week. And Germans would be like, okay, what time? And what, you know, they would actually see each other next week. Americans say it and they don't mean it. It's just like a, a cliche. It's just sort of the vernacular. Hey, yeah, we'll get together next week. We got to do lunch. And guess what? It never happens. So make those social connections. Give, give, give to the community. And that's number 10. 
not the least important. It's probably, well, they're all important, don't get me wrong. But anyway, guys, I'm here at Whaler's Village. I'm just going to turn the camera away from me because I've been giving myself way too much airtime just to show you what's going on here at Whaler's Village. And um, I don't know. I, I can't talk, you know, freely when I'm around people shopping. But I just kind of want to show you a little bit about what's going on here at Whaler's Village, show you the numbers. There's been a lot of people here. If the security guard sees me, I'm definitely going to get kicked out. But if you just join the live, this video is all about taking what I believe are the best supplements you can find right now on planet Earth called Ancestral. No matter what, look it up on Amazon. I'm not getting paid. I don't care about money in that regard. I just sell real estate for a living. Um, but check out the Ancestral Vitamins. They will make a huge difference in your life, I promise you. You will be one of the 5,000 reviews on Amazon that will say, you know what, on day two, I felt the same energy I had when I was a teenager. And I'm telling you, you will. There's something in there, I don't know what it is. The second thing was talking about how to survive and thrive in Hawaii, the top 10 tenants. I, 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 I made an edited video on that, but um, I just kind of spoke from the heart of what I think I made in that video. I'm editing it right now. But if you haven't had a chance, make sure you go back and listen to the recorded version of it. Give me your honest feedback. Hit me in the comments. And if you live here and have been successfully living here for a while, love to hear what your top pieces of advice are for people that are either moving here, about to move here, or maybe they've lived here for a while and one of these tips could make a big difference in helping them assimilate, live longer, be an important member of the community, create better social bonds, and make sure we keep up with our statistic that says we are the longest living Americans on in the, in the 50 states. Not just because we have a mentality of good good, which means everything is double good in Hawaii, which it is, sorry. It is as good as you think it is, and probably more. Um, but <laughs> uh, we actually do live longer. We actually do, statistically speaking. It's not just the shock of vibe. I think it's all of the above, man. If you do the right thing, if you're humble, if you live aloha, if you start and end your day at the ocean, if you eat local stuffs, good local grown grinds, eat some honey from the local bees, drink fresh water with lots of electrolytes in it so your body can actually absorb the water. If you go listen to live music with an ukulele, you cut out the bad carbs and you cut out maybe even the alcohol. You know, I haven't had a drink in a few months now and I feel fantastic, man. That's probably why my back went into a spasm. I was like, what the hell are you doing, Eric? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, it's too funny. But it wasn't a back spasm, man. I don't know what the heck it was. It was not going away, though, until I got some whatever that cow organ needed and my body needed it assimilated and now we're back in the game yes sir. so here we are on the boardwalk in front of the whaler it's pitch black dark out i can't see a thing my maui gins are still on because that's just how i roll i don't know what it is beautiful fee simple property right here of course i'm a practicing realtor in the state of hawaii so if you ever need to buy or sell a property love to be your guy don't forget take care of your weight staff tip more than you think you should and go down to front street and buy some stuff from fish and pay him double his retail asking price because fish is a good guy don't forget fish fish is out there man remember there's a fish somewhere in your neighborhood go do a shout out for the fish that's down your street and i promise you you'll be thankful anything you can do to help your fellow man because let's just face it man this whole covid thing has gotten people weirded out just whatever just so over it let's just forget about that whole thing and just think about that sunset and creating a beautiful sunset of energy in someone's life that's near you around you that you know don't know or want to know get to know and if you hate them they piss you off and you should really do it because that's the call right that's what changes the world right there and that's what we need to do and we need to start with the United States of America. And it's coming. Change is coming. We can start with lower gas and food prices. Who's ever in charge out there? Help the common man. Because that is the staple of life, right? 
that and sitting in front of a fire exchanging stories all right guys well i will say let's get a little hairball on the one wheel down here there's the beautiful black rock sheraton so i think i'm going to sign off i want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in it's dark i gotta watch where i'm going speaking of aloha and fellow man i want to run somebody over a little kid right there but thank you so much guys i really appreciate you tuning in i know it's been a while but i promise i'll be back i don't know where i don't know when but i promise you'll be from the most beautiful place on planet earth the state of aloha and if you're coming hit me in the comments let me know and i'd love to say aloha to you next time you're on maui thanks so much guys eric west out remember ancestral supplements will change your world i promise you it's like money back guarantee too so it's not like you got anything to lose and I would never come on and endorse something I didn't was like totally freaked out over. So check it out. All right, guys. Hope you have a great night. Till next time. Longest sign-offs in YouTube history. I know. I know. See, I can't find a button. Maui Dan, where are my bifocals? Help me. Help me.